Fishing News is sponsored by these fine partners. It's a strange start to summer for sure. The good news is the fishing is red hot. But before we get into the reports, let's check in with News 12 meteorologist Rich Von Olin for the Memorial Day weekend fishing weather. All right, thanks, Tim. Hey, anglers, meteorologist Rich Von Olin here, News 12 Long Island Weather Center. Let's check the weekend forecast, see what we got going on. And uh, not going to be the best holiday weekend here. Still some issues with uh, what we're seeing. Chilly temperatures, still an easterly breeze. It looks like, uh, you know, not as much on Saturday with the wind, but we're also going to deal with some rain. Probably 2 to 4, 4 to 7. Maybe the, the, the better day to try to deal with the ocean and the waters. The sound will be okay, but it will be raining on Saturday. And then, you know, the wind goes northeast behind that system, so we're back to 4 to 7. And pretty big waves coming back here Sunday, Sunday afternoon going into Monday. So it does not look, uh, you know, really optimum for conditions over the weekend. But Saturday, at least there's not much wind. It's a light breeze. You can probably get out. Just be safe. Watch out for some of the showers and some of the fog. And then look at those numbers there. Start to go up Saturday night, you know, 10, 20, 25 miles per hour from the northeast on Sunday. That's why, you know, you're going to get those waves. Probably a small craft advisory all weekend. Just be safe around the inlets, so your high tides, south shore and north shore. So not the optimum holiday weekend. Make the best of it, though. Be safe. Enjoy. Tim, back to you. Remember, check in with News 12 for the latest weather before heading out. Let's check in with Senior Editor. Fred Galafaro. Yeah, Tim, up uh, this way, we've got gale winds out of the east now. Uh, Monday was the last day any boats could get out. We've got rough seas from Arthur passing by. So uh, things have been limited. But uh, the real news up here, uh, going right up to Monday, was the run of giant tuna down to the west between Jones and Rockaway Inlets. Uh, quite a few uh, big bluefin weighed in. Uh, particularly uh, by Scott at Bergen Bay Docks in Babylon, West Babylon. He had a number of fish there. Among them, uh, we had uh, on the fish bones on uh, Sunday, we had a 581. That's uh, Frank Man Manfredo's boat, uh, he and his crew. Uh, then there was a 392 for Captain Anthony Palmer's Vigilant. Uh, Monday, Captain Steve uh, Jaworski and his crew on Catch of the Day, they had a 445 pounder. So some impressive fish coming in. And then uh, there was that 94 incher uh, taken uh, down to the west off the Rockaways, just 45 feet of water by two brothers, Joe and Eric Ernst, only 18 and 20 years old. So good job, kudos to those, to those guys. They borrowed their dad's boat on Sunday to do that. Um, According to Scott, uh, most of the fish are being trolled on uh, Ballyus and Joe Shoots, anywhere from 40 to 75 feet of water, again, between Jones and Rockaway. So once this ocean settles down, who knows, we'll, we'll see what, uh, what's transpired since then. The fish still going to be there, going to move east, or we'll find out, I'm sure. Uh, today is the first day the winds have let down, and uh, we'll see what happens over the next couple of days. Uh, the northeast winds did fire up some surf action. I heard of some really good action with big blues. The big bluefish finally settled in in good numbers in a number of areas. Among them, Shinnecock Inlet was good a good part of the day on Tuesday. Also, Shinnecock Canal, a lot of, a lot of bluefish coming through there, up to 10 pounds. Um, I also heard uh, from several other people. Uh, bluefish at Gerard Drive, big blues there. Gerard Drive on the shores of Gardner's Bay. There was a shot of fish at Democrat, uh, apparently a one-day deal, and also at Cedar Beach, some uh, some blues showing up there. Um, I, I've been fishing the local docks here like after dinner just for an hour or so, and uh, it was pretty quiet for like a week, but uh, I did have two nice fluke around 21 inches. That was on Monday evening. And then again, uh, Tuesday evening, had another another couple of fluke. And uh, the fish bites, any of you subscribers who attended the shows in the winter, we were giving out those fish bites. They're working dynamite on the fluke. The uh, dirty boxer especially, I started using them last summer, last August. They sent me some sample packs, and it's just been a killer on the fluke, uh, particularly the pink, uh, the pink color. So check those out if you have them from uh, when you subscribe. Get them in the water. I'm telling you, they really work great on fluke. Um, I, speaking of fluke, I did get a nice photo. Uh, Captain Zach uh, Darcy and his girlfriend, Shay Gomes, 
this is Shay with a nice fluke from Smithtown Bay on the weekend. And then uh, Anthony Danza and uh, his wife Samantha, they were fishing in Jamaica Bay on the weekend and she came up with this really nice week fish. So way to go, ladies. All right, Tim, back to you. From Montauk, we have Captain Timothy O'Rourke. Thanks, Tim. Well, as everybody got to experience this past week, everything came together really good in regards to the springtime. The weather was good, the fishing was good. Unfortunately, we're still waiting on the state of New York out here to uh, let us enter the phase one reopening. Um, all the charter boats out here are getting geared up. They're getting everything set up to keep everybody safe and distant so they can operate safely and get back to work. In regards to the fishing out here in Montauk, uh, we had a giant caught, a giant tuna caught off the point on Monday. Uh, over the weekend, the weather was great and did some fluking. Still a lot of short fluke getting caught, but the bite's getting better. Um, if they're not short fluke, they're pretty decent size. Bunch of fish in the 20 inch, 22 inch range. A lot of sea bass were released, uh, even catching a couple small blackfish to go with it, which is showing signs that the fishing's really starting to kick in. Um, in regards to light tackle and sight fishing, had a wonderful opportunity on Sunday to get the flats boat out. Uh, pulled a few flats around Gardner's Island and up in Three Mile Harbor area. We were seeing anywhere from 20 to 30 fish at a time coming through in little schools. And we had some great action catching those on the eight and nine weight fly rods. Uh, there's plenty of uh, schoolie bass schooling up in uh, Fort Palm Bay and up towards Gardner's Island in Three Mile Harbor and a lot of big bluefish showed up. So everybody get out this Memorial Day, keep uh, putting letters and everything in to get the charter boats back to work and have fun and go fishing. Up on the North Fork and Peconic Bays, we have Captain Sebastian Head. The fishing was pretty good this week. There's a few newcomers. The, uh, the weak fish are in the bays, pretty heavy. Uh, they're also in the mouths of the creeks coming in. The uh, blue fish are starting to show up, which is nice. Not the big gator blues that we see kind of in, in late May and early June, but there's some nice sized blue fish out there being caught, mixed in with the bass. The, uh, the bass are getting bigger in the rips, up to 32 inches is what I've been hearing. Um, and the fluke fishing has been getting better as well. A lot of shorts being caught and you know some keepers mixed in as well, um, if you can stay away from the sea robins. Over on the sound side, uh, the fishing is also starting to wake up. Lots of porgies being caught over there and schooly bass. Um, a little bit smaller than the bay side, but hopefully with this warm weather, the, uh, the migration will be triggered a little bit more and the, the sound side will start to get some big fish in as well. So tight lines, everybody, and good luck. Let's check in from Shinnecock with Mike Dean. Thanks, Tim. Hey, everyone. Hope things are going well. Um, the fishing this past week was a little sporadic, although there's still plenty of st small stripers around, bigger ones at night, and uh, blues from cocktails all the way up to gators. Over the weekend, they seem to be a little more concentrated on the eastern end of Shinnecock Bay and into the Peconics. Uh, definitely on the flats, uh, a couple of guys had some just stellar afternoons just uh, seeing finning bluefish and going after them, light tackle, fly, and, and poppers. I've had a little better luck with the bluefish I've caught on Mag Daughters, SP Minnows. Uh, I've got a couple of soft plastics chewed up pretty good while I was targeting small bass. Um, uh, I think anything that kind of that, that that smaller spearing, there's a lot of spearing around. A few of the bluefish that I got spit up uh, small spearing. Um, the, so, you know, any kind of those smaller plugs should should work. Any small swimming plug. Uh, Gray Lady Tackle up in uh, Nantucket makes a really nice small lip swimmer if you want to check them out. I got a few small bass on those. Uh, also, sea robins are around too. They're a fish, they count, it swims. So this weekend will probably be crowded in a lot of spots. Use some common sense, do the social distancing. Uh, finish line is in sight with this thing. Hope everyone's staying well. Steigercraft boats, built by people who fish our waters. Serious English choose Steigercraft for their 40 years of boat building experience right here in the Northeast and Mid-Atlantic. Visit Steigercraft.com for a dealer near you. With a Mauritius Bay and Great South Bay report, we have Captain Kirk Fay. Thanks, Tim. Hey, everybody. Uh, last week, uh, the word around town is definitely bluefin tuna. They're in 80 feet. They're in 40 feet. They're uh, by Rockaway. I've heard stuff that they're by Davis Park. Um, so this, you, we're going to get a couple of weather days coming up that you're definitely going to be able to check out uh, to see if you could hook up with one of these giants. Um, these, are, these are big fish. 
400, 600 pound fish being weighed in. So that's what's going on just outside our inlets. As for the inside, um, there's a lot of slip gut around making people miserable. Fluking has been terrible. Um, any bass that's around the Fire Island area seem to definitely be on the small side. Um, with a sliver of hope, there was some big um, bluefish that have moved in. I had been spending some time down by Mariches and uh, on poppers, top waters. I'm talking about bringing the boat into like two feet of water and just throwing around top waters and big bluefish, 15 pound fish smashing it. So at least that's maybe something you could shoot for. Um, like I said, the weather looks pretty good coming up for the next few days, which is pretty rare around here. So get out there, catch them up, and I'll talk to you next week. Bye. A little further to the west, we have Captain Al Lorenzetti. Hey, Tim. Fire Island Report. Uh, we got some good bluefish action starting to show up. Uh, still a good bunch of those small striped bass around, but a lot fewer than a couple of weeks ago, but they're still around. Put a structure around the bridges, and you put a chump out down, you're going to catch them too. Uh, flounder season's about over, maybe the last week here, and the blowfish have arrived. Uh, pretty much any place in the bay, you put down a chump pot, a little piece of clam on a hook, or a piece of worm, and you're going to catch some blowfish, which is great. Uh, great eating. Uh, I love to fry up blowfish. And uh, they were giant tuna fish outside the inlet, shallow water, just to the west anywhere from Jones Inlet and a little further west from there. So that's a big news for the blue water boats. And uh, let's see, I guess that's about it for this week, Tim. Things are out there. It looks like decent weather Friday and Saturday, and there's certainly enough fish around to fish for, and I expect a nice catch of week fish coming up any day. Marinas are open, and Kale's Family Boating Center is ready to get you out on the water. There's no better place to practice social distancing than with the family enjoying the outdoors. Check out a Seapro powered by Suzuki. Low rates make it the perfect time to buy. Visit kalesfamilyboating.com for more information. Don't overlook Sea Robins. Hopefully, the tackle shops will be open, and once again, the Fisherman Dream Boat Contest will be back in full swing. A Sea Robin like Larry Schmitz here can win you a new Steiger craft, but you need to be a subscriber to the Fisherman Magazine to be in it. With our fly fishing and freshwater report, we have Paul McCain from River Bay Outfitters. Hello, Tim. Well, it's been an exciting week here at River Bay Outfitters, at least for me, because I've been able to get out and do a little fishing. I, I went out the other night. Uh, it was you know, my favorite time, sunset, dropping tide on this flat that I like to go to. Uh, it was very good. I caught my first stripe of the year, which was in the 26, 27 inch range. Uh, very nice. The next one actually was about 16, 17 inches, a lot of fun, and then they started getting smaller. I actually caught about four of them under uh, about 12 inches, but I caught one that the smallest stripe I ever caught, seven inches, the fly was seven inches. Uh, it was just, but a lot of fun. It's always fun to get out. My son has also been fishing the same flat, but at different nights, he, came, he landed one about 35 inches. So there are fish out here, definitely in the back bays, uh, bluefish has started to show up. It's been a really good. Freshwater, my wife and I went out this past Monday. Uh, we had with the Lawyer Fly Riders, and um, we had a great time. Not a lot of fish. We were in the evening, and a lot of fish were beat up during the day, but we had some on dry flies, some on streamers. I caught one about 22 inches. It was a lot of fun. It jumped about four or five times. It's always good, and uh, it was good to take my wife out fishing. So... Get out there where you can. Tight lines, everybody. See you next week. Here's Gage Simon with his report. Thanks, Tim. Great week for fishing here on the South Shore with a lot of personal best being caught. The wind is blowing and the anglers are going. Reports of good fluking in the back bay continues. Bait fish are on the move with squid, bunker, and mackerel present. The fish are gorging here on the South Shore. And with all that bait in the area, it's no surprise the yellow-eyed demons have made a nice return this season. Anglers like John Canosa are having an absolute blast catching keeper bass on his Fishing Pro Wave Runner. Great job, John, and thanks for all those great comments online. Greatly appreciate it. Big 50-pound bass to 48 inches are being released here on the South Shore, so all you striped bass fishermen, get out there and catch them up. But nothing trumps this week's 93-inch bluefin tuna landed by 18- and 20-year-old brothers Eric and Joe Faust of another outlet. Fighting this beast standing up for three and a half hours in 45 feet of water, caught on a Tiagra 50, paired with Stacker Outfitter's rod trolling a bally. 
Hats off to this dynamic duo for landing this behemoth tuna. Remember, it's boating safety week here, so have fun this Memorial Day weekend and be safe out there. Wishing everybody bent rods, tight lines, and I'll see you out on the water. Captain Joey Leggio has a report from Deb's Inlet. Well, hey Tim, what's going on? Report out of Deb's Inlet. Well, first of all, finally made it out here on the skiff. Man, this COVID thing's been killing everybody over here, but finally was able to get out in the skiff. Started off at the bridge. There's been some uh, nice bass on the bridge. Well, I'm gonna say nice. There's been action on the bridge. You know, went out there day with my nephew. We had 11. No keepers, you know, some close ones, but a lot of fun. Then hit the back bay for some bluefish. Some of the jumbo blues finally came in, which is nice to see too. On the other news is the tuna bite that's been going on off the Rockaway Reef. My buddy Joe Fowles had one. I forget if it was 94 or 97 inches. True giant, real monster fish. I uh, heard of a couple others caught. My buddy Tim on the margarita was out here bass fishing, and the tuna were jumping all around his boat. I mean, I'll send some videos over here. You can check them out. And uh, real cool stuff that's going on out here right now. The reefs still have the fish on them. But uh, other than that, it's all coming together. You know, these, these tuna are a nice surprise. But that's basically it. I'm out here today trying to catch a striper, and I'll let you know what happens. Other than that, that's my report for Debs. Take care, Tim. I'll talk to you soon. Many of these bluefin have fallen for a rigged ballyhoo. Joey has a video on his YouTube channel on rigging ballyhoo. Click on the card in the top right or look for the link in the video's description. From Oceanside, we have James Furchland. Thanks, Tim. Fishing on the South Shore has been really hot recently. If you got out this past week, you know, Friday and Saturday were the days to go. It was like 80 degrees and every other day has been really windy. It's supposed to be very windy this week, but Friday seems like the best day to go. The water temperature in the bay is finally at 60 degrees and that should show much better fishing action in the days to come. The porgy and the blowfish have been all over the bay on clams and small hooks. They're fun to catch. Just go out, get a pint of clams, and there's tons of action all day. The bluefish are in the area and we've had fish up to 15 pounds on SP minnows at the top of either tide. It seems that the overcast and rainy conditions work better for bigger fish. When it's sunny out, the cocktails are more abundant. The schoolies are mixed in with them. There's fish up to 30 inches all along the marshland and everywhere in the bay, really. The fluking action has been steadily getting better. It seems bait's been working a lot better than swim mullet because of this cold water. The fluke have been really, really lazy, I guess. They're not as willing to chase around the bucktail as they are to just get bait that's floating in front of them. So overall, fishing's been pretty good. Hopefully next week it'll get better with these warmer waters. Tight lines, Tim, back to you. The night owl, Joe Bensavenga, fished the Long Beach area and released six bass and over 20 blues using a one ounce bucktail tipped with pork rind. And look, I can see his background. From the Staten Island area, we have Mike Sentry. Thanks, Tim. Thanks, Fred, for another Fisherman Magazine video forecast. Look, I'm gonna make this as short as possible, guys. You guys are aware, monkfish being caught on the charter boats, jumbo-sized monkfish. Good eating fish, by the way. Large striped bass, Chuck Manny Tillman have been catching them on live eels. Uh, guys trolling Tony Maja number four spoons, deadly combination, live lining, chunk in bunkers, you name it. The bluefish, haven't seen so many on the boat so far. Uh, they've been congregating a lot closer towards the shore, specifically Cliffwood Beach, Union Beach, and the Raritan Bay, New Jersey side. Guys there on low tide, incoming tide, casting tsunami, talking poppers and crocodile spoons. It's been dynamite on them. The Bluefin Report guys, I did a solo trip heading out towards the Rezo Wreck by myself. Hit the Rezo Wreck, the Chicken, the Glory. I also hit the uh, Monster Ledge in the Mud Hole. Let me tell you, I had no fresh bait on board, no mackerel, no ballyhoo. Just did an exploratory trip out there. Seas were calm, beautiful day, sunny. Gotta say, if you, when you see seven or eight giant sized Bluefin tuna chasing mackerel, it's a sight to see. Here are some pictures of this. With that said, guys. From the Western Long Island Sound on the incoming tide, Raul Ortiz, the urban angler, was out with the son Jace and enjoyed catching and releasing schoolies and bluefish. Also, from the Western Sound, Vito Deluvio was working the night with super strike little neck poppers and metal lip swimmers for fish in the 20 pound class. This fish fell for a cigar metal lip by Atlantic Plug and Lore Company. From Northport, we have Kenny Cannon. 
Thanks, Tim. The fishing in the Northport and Shrogan Eaton's Neck area has been absolutely outstanding. There's porgies pretty much everywhere. So if you have kids or you have someone who's new to fishing, getting them involved in the sport, bring them out porgy fishing right now. Simple one ounce weight on the bottom from shore, high low rig with some clam on it, or I use gulp that's left over from fluke fishing that's all chewed up or the tails are missing or whatever. Just cut it into little pieces, put it on the hook. They're going to hit it as soon as it hits the bottom. Tons of action and they're going to have a great time. Uh, the one thing with porgies though is you have to, while you're out there, I know it's no one that watches these videos, but while you're out there, keep an eye out on everybody else because I've been seeing every single time I go out there, it drives me nuts, people keeping porgies that are this big, throwing them in bags and buckets and everything else. And I call DEC, they do what they can, but again, they're short staff, so it is what it is. We have to protect the fishery that we love so much. We have to protect the beaches that we frequent so much so that we can save it for us and on future generations. So make sure that you see, if you see something, say something to somebody and let the proper authorities know. As far as fluke fishing goes, they're pretty much everywhere as well, but mainly shorts. I caught one keeper so far, uh, let it go, but you know, that's pretty much it. And there's some sea robins mixed in to provide some action as well. And I also caught a weak fish off of Hobart's earlier in the, in the week, which is kind of cool because I don't never target them. And that was the first weak fish I think I caught since I was like 10 years old or something. So that was pretty interesting to see. Uh, but that's pretty much it. The fishing is on fire. Now is the time. Get out there. Bring kids. Bring family. Bring friends that are new to fishing. Put them on porgies. And I'm telling you right now, they're going to have a blast and they're going to be hooked for life. Hope everybody has a wonderful Memorial Day weekend. Stay happy. Stay healthy. Stay safe. And we'll talk next week. Back to you, Tim. On Saturday, June 6, Bergen Bay Docks in West Babylon will be hosting a charity fishing tournament for bass and blues. Lines in at 6 a.m. Weigh in is at 5 p.m. Visit BergenBayDocks.com for all the info. Remember, like our video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and tap on the bell to be notified instantly when we post a new video on YouTube. And of course, be a subscriber to the Fisherman Magazine to be part of the Dream Boat and Kayak Clash contest. Check out this video's description on YouTube for all the related links and more information. And please support our correspondents by visiting their websites and social media pages. That's it for now, and let us not forget what Memorial Day is all about. If big news happens over this weekend, I'll have an update Monday or Tuesday right here at thefisherman.com.